In 1835, British naturalist Charles Darwin described how people were bitten by the vinchuca, a South American insect. One year later, Darwin returned to England and fell ill. Doctors were never able to diagnose the cause of the illness that would incapacitate him until the end of his life, but it is now largely suspected that he had Chagas disease. It is said that this tropical disease has existed in the New World since ancient times. Pre-Columbian mummies dating back 9,000 years show signs of the infection. In 1909, a Brazilian physician, Carlos Chagas, discovered the illness and gave it his name. Some years earlier, the cause and vector of human African trypanosomiasis, a close relative of Chagas disease, better known as sleeping sickness, had been discovered. Carlos Chagas made his discovery almost by chance. He was sent to a region decimated by malaria, and he noticed an unusual swelling in one of his patients. He discovered a parasite in her blood he named Trypanosoma cruzi, a trypanosoma different to the ones that were already known. Chagas accomplished the remarkable feat of describing the disease from A to Z, not just the parasite, but also its vector, the vinchuca bug, and its clinical signs. But many countries refused to invest in the study of another new disease and tried to lull people into believing it was a hoax. It was only in the 1930s that the existence of Chagas disease was recognized and accepted. And it took until the 1950s for it to become acknowledged as a public health issue. At the time, out of the 18 million people infected, 250,000 died every year, most of them in South America. Since the discovery of Chagas disease, the search for a cure has been a major challenge. The principal drug, benznitazole, dates back to 1969. Despite its numerous side effects, benznitazole and nifertamox, another equally toxic molecule, are still the only drugs available to treat the disease. <laughs>